This is Behind Closed Doors, a series of short films getting into buildings that you can't normally get into. And this is the Bottle Factory in SE1, just south of the Old Kent Road. Home to the old bottling brand J Mills & Sons, they would have been bottling everything here from mineral water to ginger beer and lemonade. And they were here from about the late 1890s up to about the 1960s or so, when the building kind of changed hands a few times and eventually sort of started falling into a bit of a state of disrepair and neglect. Southwark, seeing the historic value in this building, put it on their conservation area and made it a building of historic interest. And our friends Fabrics, the creative developers, have come on to try and bring this building back to life. And we get a sneak peek inside, being one of the first to see it before it finally opens later this spring summer. So when Fabrics took this building on, there was lots of modern additions and partitions and the whole building was sort of covered up inside. And really what they've started to do is just strip it all back to its bare bones and its bare bones are quite glorious. There's these beautiful wrought iron columns supporting timber beams that are all opened up and you can even see the timber floorboards above. It's just quite a beautiful space on its own. There are some really interesting details in this building like this corbel at the bottom of the brick walls. And these columns that I haven't actually ever seen before, very interesting design. These bits sticking out like wings that I think are just here to help spread the load down the column. There's this space in here that is really amazing. It used to be all covered up in different partitions and was a long corridor down the middle and rooms all off the sides. And you can see now what a spectacular space it is. So the whole roofscape has been opened up and you can now see these beautiful metal trusses that create the span over the space. And the best part about it is revealing the roof lights. They're actually in timber, but they create this beautiful volume to the space and the light is now flooding in, casting its shadows down the brickwork and onto the floor. Fabrics have put on some amazing meanwhile use events here. And last year they teamed up with Creative Debuts, which is a platform that spotlights young and emerging artists. And they held a fantastic exhibition in this space, which I bet was amazing. Loads of interesting artwork filling up this space. And they also held a big Christmas fundraiser for charity last year. And if you guys know Drag Race UK, then maybe you'll know Bimini Bomb Boulash, the famous drag queen, who apparently performed right in this spot, and you can still see the stains. No joke, just a fact. What I love about industrial architecture like this is it's symmetrical. You see how the column grid is set up and all these spaces kind of work symmetrically and they're kind of mirror images of each other. You can see how in a space like this, some of the openings that would have been here have actually been blocked up and changed over the years, but you can still make out the little traces of history. You can see that's where the window line used to be, and that's where the brick lintel was. And there was a doorway put in here, which would have, would have been where the larger doorway previously was. And you can see what that was like if you look back at the external elevation. You can see now how symmetrical this is with the big central bay that's now a window and the two windows either side, creating this really wonderful symmetry to the space. So this building was also the backdrop to some amazing filmmaking. This was the location where Sam Smith performed an alternative Queen speech, an LGBT version of the traditional Queen speech. And the film features some amazing other people, including Munro Bergdorf. Celebrating all queer bodies, no matter what form they may take. Redefining the rules to make space for those whose identity. So this is one of the first floor spaces that will be creative offices. You can see the real joy of Victorian industrial architecture is all these crittle windows in a rhythmic pattern all the way down the space. Some beautiful timber trusses and that really characterful circular window up there in the elevation. So there's another bay through here and this is actually one of the timber doors that we saw when we were down in the yard that would have had the crane. And actually you can see here, there's a clue as to what this really was, the goods lift. And this is through to one of the most beautiful spaces in the building. 
It's about six or seven meters tall in the middle here, and it is flooded with natural light. All the critter windows down the side and some beautiful skylights. There's some interesting things happening here structurally as well. There are these wrought iron columns that are supporting timber beams that support the timber roof structure. And there's some odd little moments here where that is additionally supported by more timber columns. But the most beautiful thing about this space really is the proportion, the width and the height and the way that natural light just floods into this space. It's really quite beautiful. They've retained the timber floorboards in this room and they're really characterful actually. They're beautiful knots and little gouges out of the timber over the years give this whole space some really lovely character to it. So this is one of the last main spaces in the building. You can see these marks on the walls and actually this space was partitioned off so there was a corridor down the middle and little rooms creating small spaces and what the developers have done is just strip everything back. So now you have one big beautiful space exposing the steel structure and you can now really see the real character of that circular window in the elevation. So this building's really interesting to me because I actually live across Burgess Park just over there and I'd often walk up this way and use this road as a little cut through and look at this building and imagine what it was and what it was going to be. So I really want to say thank you to Fabrics for letting me get in here and explore. It's really a beautiful building and I can't wait for it to come back to life. This whole area actually is really interesting. There's an old Kent Road regeneration area master plan that's happening just over there. It runs the entire length of the road. There's some really interesting ha things happening. Some big, tall new buildings, mixed use, residential, and some big infrastructure things planned too. The Baker Loo line extension is planned here and there will eventually be a new tube station stop just over there at the top of Burgess Park and one a bit further down. So this whole area is going to transform and kind of look and feel over the years. And what's really exciting about here is it's nicely settled back from the main road. It's a bit quieter and it's got this beautiful cobbled yard. So when this building gets activated with use, and the Old Kent Road comes to life. There'll be a really wonderful opportunity here to have some outdoor events and mixed use activity. And I can't wait for that. So hopefully you'll start to see some things happening here in this cobbled yard very soon. And thank you again for exploring the building with me.